Hey everyone, Jimmy Smama here with another squad guide. In this guide, we are going to talk about communicating with squad members. So let's hop right into the video. Let's first go over the tips or unwritten rules as a general squad member. When you first join a squad, say something, anything, just to let your squad members know that you do have a mic and aren't afraid to use it. Yes, a simple hi or hello everyone changes all of that. When using local chat compared to squad chat, you want to use local chat for jokes or call out targets with specific bearings. The way I like to call out specific targets in local chat is by going for example Machine Gunner 230 Northwest, with which they can immediately look towards Northwest and quickly find bearing 230. Yes, this means even in firefights, use local chat, unless you are calling out unmarked enemies or vehicles to your squad lead. Now squad chat is a little different, and should have the least amount of chatter as possible. One of the main uses for squad chat is for the squad members to call out unmarked enemy positions. The best way to do this is to use the map and look for a point of interest, such as ne the next capture point or simply just a landmark. Then call out the approximate meters for said point of interest with a direction, example being three enemies moving through the field 200 meters north of mosque. Other than that, you generally want to keep your squad chat clear for your squad lead and fire t team leads to communicate, but more for your squad lead because they have many chats going on while fighting. For fire team leads, try your best to be proactive. Mark things for your squad lead, give suggestions to your squad lead without becoming a backseat squad lead. Just be generally helpful to your squad lead and use squad chat to communicate with them. Other than that, those same rules apply as if you're a regular squad member. This goes for everyone though. Do not question everything the squad lead says or does. If they ask you to go do something, just take the two minutes to go do the thing being asked without the squad lead having to explain themselves. Now finally for squad leads, always respond to your squad mates. Let them know that they have been heard. When new players join your squad, greet them to make them feel more comfortable. This is probably the most important tip, but make sure your squad knows they are doing well and try to keep them focused on the current objective at hand. That will be all. I hope you enjoyed this little communication guide. Uh, if you did, please leave a like and possibly subscribe for more content. And if you want to check out a great display of communication, check out the iCard in the top right now. Thank you. Hilo's not up yet. Roger, moving. Left without me? That's a good thing I guess, holy shit! <laughs>